He's been a mainstay in the country and western music scene for nearly a half a century. He has a huge fan base here in Colorado. And uh, now tonight and tomorrow night, you can see Michael Martin Murphy as he performs in Lone Tree with the Lone Tree Symphony Orchestra. And guess what? Michael Martin Murphy right here, right here in our <laughs> studio this morning. We're all so excited about it to talk about this weekend's big concert. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah. Well, listen, are you kidding? I've been here way before you guys were ever here. Well, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're, probably, you may have been, yeah. You're a Colorado. I'm talking about your engineer told me I think 20, 20 years ago. We're here doing an around. interview or two, huh? Yeah. Good deal. And what an opportunity for the local musicians, the symphony artists who are going to be performing with you in concert tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, a lot of people say cowboy music and symphony, how does that work? Well, John Ford, who made more great westerns than anybody with John Wayne, always used a symphony orchestra for his scores. And John Williams, who's the cur current guest conductor at the Boston Pops, also started off writing cowboy music. We're gonna do some of John Williams' music tonight. The guy who wrote Star Wars, he started off with the cowboys. Is that right? John Wayne, the cowboys. So we're gonna do a little bit of that score tonight, along with our regular music. We just play the cowboy songs and they back us up and we don't really change our show, but we have some wonderful arrangements and these players are really great. And the Lone Tree Art Center, wow. Nice place, oh, isn't it? Nice. Yeah. yeah. I was it's there as, when it it's opened. It's as good as a lot of, like, this is a community orchestra, but this is as good of a, of a, of a hall. As oh, I've seriously, seen it's yeah, a magnificent hall. And the players hall. are very professional. So. Absolutely. Right. So this is video from the rehearsal last night. Uh, so if fans go tonight, what, give us a little taste. You've had uh, dozens of albums. What are they going to hear tonight? Uh, well, this is called A Night in the American West. Okay. What we do is we, we go to the roots of what we're all about here in Colorado. Cowboys and Indians and the West and the frontier. And we do the music that comes from that along with some of my more recent hits. But I've always been kind of a pseudo-poet of the Southwest. You sure. know what I mean? I hate yeah. to call myself a poet. But, oh, I would. But I, I'm, would. I, I write about my own backyard. I grew up in the Southwest. Texas, Colorado, New Mexico, o Oklahoma, Wyoming. This, that's my stomping grounds. And, this is and very I'm much, still a rancher. So, well, yeah. I was just going to say this is very much a part of your presence, not just your, your past. Well, I've lived in Colorado three different times, and currently I, I do have a ranch in Colorado down by Beulah. There you we go. We raise uh, quarter horses and paints and Texas Longhorn cattle. How about well, that? To keep a little Texas in there. And so this, this protecting the American farmland, it's, it's, always, it's been a passion of yours. That's some of the proceeds that are going to benefit, in fact. You know, I'm going to tell you the truth, it's, it's a little bit selfish. I am a rancher and a farmer, and I know what's going on, and so I get out there and try to be an advocate. Fortunately, I can use my music as a tool to be an advocate for farmers and ranchers, and I'll do that till the day I die because I think they're the backbone of our nation. Yeah. And are Good people group. listening? Are they getting it? Absolutely. It's really helping. I mean, uh, both sides politically are listening. Yeah. It's really helping because I don't think they realize how bureaucratic it got for the farmers. A lot of, a lot of farmers uh, in the last two years seen their lines of credits canceled because the banks didn't want to deal with little people anymore. They just wanted the big lines of credit. So we went, we went in and said, hey, wait a minute, you guys can't do this. You're going to destroy a state like Colorado or Wisconsin or Texas if you keep on doing this. So we worked for Farm Credit. We worked for Farm Bureau. We did a lot of concerts. So don't forget these private folks. Private shows. Yeah. That's right. You know, in the, in the last week, we talked a lot about losing a legend in the country music industry, George Jones. Uh, uh, before we ask you to, to, to step away here, and you're moving on for the afternoon, to, to give us your thoughts. Well, I met George when I was a teenager. When I was, uh, I was, I was a teenager in college. I played at a place called the Palomino Club in California, and he played there a lot. That was the, kind of the honky-tonk venue of California at the time. And uh, I went down to see George, and I was introduced to him, and we, we were friends over a lot of years. And all I can just tell you is this. Nobody ever had the true heart, soul, and reality in the actual way he sang better than George Jones when it comes to country music. He had these little curls, these little dives, and the, oh, I'm going home. I don't know. Something it, about the way he did that just, yeah. just made you realize this is real, and it's confronting things that pop music and a lot of other music 
confront in a more sophisticated way. So he hit people where they live. Very and iconic. And he's really going to be missed. A and lot of yeah. people imitated his his vocal style. Right? And it's been a tough week for the music world, losing uh, Richie Havens yeah. and our our local uh, promoter, Barry, Barry Faye. Faye yeah. My business manager and I are, uh, were really, you know, beat up over George because my business manager also is the business manager CPA for George and has been for 40 years. And you were telling us earlier you played with Richie Havens and uh, you really knew Barry Faye. Well, Bar you. Barry Faye presented a lot of concerts with Michael Martin Murphy. We were friends till the, till the day he died. So I just really going to miss Barry. I mean, he set the tone for music in Colorado. Mm -hmm. He made the Colorado music scene what it is today. Well, well, we appreciate it. We appreciate your impact yeah. on the music scene. Thanks so much for being here. And if you would like to see Michael Martin Murphy in person, you can tonight and tomorrow night. He'll be performing live with the Lone Tree Symphony Orchestra at the new Lone Tree Arts Center, and it is gorgeous. Tickets are still available. You can log on to our website at thedenverchannel.com for a link to the ticket counter. Scroll down until you see the red TV button, and we will repeat this interview on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for being here, yeah. Murph. It's great to be with yeah, you. Yeah, thank you for taking time. On your, your see busy you tonight schedule. or tomorrow night. There you go. We'll come out and see you. Well, today's.